What's up guys, Cody here with a new video, going to be reviewing the new movie that came out Thursday, Logan, um, the newest X-Men franchise movie. So this is Avery, He's gonna, he went with me, we're going to discuss the movie and see what our thoughts was about it. So what did you think about it? First thoughts. My first thoughts was that it was definitely a sad movie. Um, you know, it's not, it's, you know, when he's at his peak, it's more of when he's broken down and literally on the last leg possible. Yeah. Well, I mean, not just him, but uh, Xavier also is pretty, yeah. they're both pretty beat up and, I guess, war-ridden, I guess yeah. is the best way to put yeah. it. Yeah, war-ridden. I mean, there's been plenty of X-Men wars, I'm assuming, between these two movies. It's what five years? Yeah, it it's uh, because yeah, the last one at the end of days of future future past it was uh, 2024, and this one's 2029. Yeah, so five years. Apparently, a lot's happened in five years. I guess. I yeah. don't know. I mean, but um, they added some new people. You got Pierce, which is the main villain. I guess you could call him the villain. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll talk about that. And then you got Laura, which is the little girl you see in the trailers, who was a badass in this movie. Yes. Um, Definitely a good character. I wouldn't mind seeing her in another movie, either that age or when she gets older, whichever one, I guess. Yeah, because, I mean, she she wasn't given many lines to really use, and for most child actors, that's yeah, most, really hard to most do. Most child actors do horrible movies. Yeah. Scene, so she didn't do that. Badly. Yeah, she, she did really good. <coughs> but Pierce, I didn't... I felt like he was pointless. Um, yeah. I mean, I won't go into detail why, but I felt like he was completely... I think they could have done the movie without him. He was basically just like a merc for hire, I guess you yeah. I guess he's, I mean, he's just... I mean, you see it in the trailer, but I mean, I, I don't like what movies do. It's it's like grunts. Yeah. Like, they I gotta just add a, a villain, grunt. Yeah. so they're all the same villain. Yeah. I mean, it's like in a video game where everyone's the same monster you fight over and over again. It's kind of like that, I guess. Yeah. I didn't like that, but overall, I thought the movie was pretty good. Um, when I got done watching it, I, I was iffy about it. But I, thought, I mean, after thinking about it, I guess it could be it. It's a good ending to Hugh Jackman's career of Wolverine, I guess. Well, it was like it was like a Western vibe. Very, yeah. very Western. I mean, they said they had different uh, inspiration from older, like, Clint Eastwood movies. And, yep. Uh, I never watched it, but Shane, that was yeah. a big influence. I've never watched it. I don't like Western movies that much. But And then even the soundtrack for this, the score of the movie, I mean, it was Johnny Cash, a bunch of his songs, a bunch of other old, I guess, country-ish songs, I guess you call him country, it was most of the score for the movie. Well, even for, like, the orchest orchestral part of it, it was just very, just... I mean, the movie had a dark tone, that's yeah, one thing, very I dark guess, tone. with X-Men, yeah. at least with this one they did, was they wanted to make it very realistic, um, had a big realism aspect to it of how, I guess, in this such, this world, how it would be more real in our, than in our world, I guess, is the best way to put it. Yeah, I mean, well, um, but overall, I thought it was pretty good. What you, did you did you like it? Yeah, yeah, I I did like it. Um, like from one of the trailers, just, you know, he was kind of uh, like it showed like he was pissed off when he found that you know in one of the trailers that Laura you know was holding around this comic because you know he he's seen so much so many people that he loves die that it's just like you know it's not what it shows in the comic book. It's um, you know, people die, it's not all just, you know, good times, good beats evil every time, it's just, you know, the, he was, it was like he raged against that, so to speak. Yeah, and definitely, if you're going in this, you haven't seen it yet, it's not Old Man Logan at all. No. Um, I mean, very loosely, loosely based on it, I mean, almost just the the name Logan. <laughs> yeah. Just about, <laughs> and I guess his age, or, I mean, I don't know how old he's supposed to be, but I guess his age, uh, the way he looks, he's supposed to be older. I well, guess, and weak, his, uh, I, mean, I think it's in the trailer, his healing factor's not the same it was. Yeah. Well, I, because I, uh, I watched all the movies previous to this, um, when we went to see it, and I, I calculate his age, it's 184 in this, so, I mean, he is really old, but it's nowhere close to, you know, how it's shown in Old Man Logan, the comic, because, I mean, it's a great comic, but there's... It's just like it's a. They use the premise of I mean, half of that they couldn't yeah. use anyways because copyright. Yeah, I mean, you copyrights. Can't use the Hulk. No, nope, cannot um, use the Hulk. Ho Hawkeye. Yep. Captain America. I mean, all yep. those were in Old Man Logan. They couldn't use those, so I guess this was their best alternative to keep it in Fox's 
you know, copyright situation. Um, but so, what about the acting? Did you did you think everyone did a good job? Did you think some people had some weak points? Or uh, Hugh Jackman and of course Xavier, they did phenomenal. Um, you know, in an interview, uh, Hugh Jackman said that you know he put you know everything into this, and for you know like the emotional scenes, like he was genuinely <coughs> emotional at the time. It was time. a sad movie. Yeah. I mean, it was it was extremely sad. I thought. Yeah. Um, I mean, I guess this is the first time you've seen this version of Xavier more than a few minutes recently. Yeah. Cause, I mean, they, he wasn't in Apocalypse at all. Uh, John or uh, Patrick Stewart's his name, right? Yeah, Patrick yeah. Stewart. He wasn't Sir in Stewart, yeah. Apocalypse at all. He was in the future sequence for Days of Future Past. Yeah, which I'm sure was like yeah. 20 minutes so or so. I guess so. really this yeah. is the first time you've seen him in a decent amount since X-Men 3. Yeah. I guess. That I can yeah, think that was, of right now. Yeah. And, uh, but... But no, I, I think Hugh Jackman and his, they both did a good job. And then Laura, X-23, I think she did a pretty good job. Like you said, to be a kid also, I mean, yeah. it's pretty impressive. And then, I mean, I didn't like Pierce, but I thought his acting was fine. I mean, there wasn't really any complaints on his portrayal of what he was supposed to be, I guess. Um, <coughs> and then, uh, what was his, what's his name? Uh, Which one? The the mutant finder. What's his name again? Oh, Caliban. Yeah, yeah, Caliban. I thought that was pointless. Um, I didn't see why they used him in this. I think what they were doing was because they, the ability that he can find mutants, and stuff like that, just from what they showed in Apocalypse. Yeah, I guess. I guess. Seems kind of like a pointless character. Yeah. Um, but. So the acting overall, I think, was pretty good. I don't think there's anyone that really had any downfall of their acting. I mean, they all did a good job. And then, I mean, the the way it was shot was really interesting. I mean, it wasn't shot like any of the other X-Men movies with all the special effects. I mean, really, besides the, the explosions and, I mean, his claws and her claws, I guess, there wasn't really much special effects in the movie, or CGI, I guess. Yeah, they, they used um, a lot of practical, practical effects. And, I mean, I'd say a lot of the explosions were actual explosions, so, I mean, practical effects, you know. So, yeah. I mean, I think really just the, the Antimanium parts was probably the only main CGI they used in the movie. Um, well, and that's what the director said, too. He wanted to keep it very grounded and wanted to use as little CGI as possible. So. Yeah, but, I mean, and it was, like I mean, like I said, it's West, you could definitely see the Western vibe yeah. to it. It was shot a lot darker, and I mean, I mean, half of it's in a desert, technically, anyways. Yep. I mean, it's supposed to be in, what, New Mexico, I think it is. Uh, yeah, 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 it's, yeah, New Mexico. So, I mean, it's all a darker tone and definitely the sad, you know, Lone Ranger type of type of thing they're going with, I guess. Yeah. Um, but. And Hugh Jackman even said, like, um, you know, when he finally had the idea that, you know, he was done with doing uh, Logan, that uh, it was like, it was actually, was like, he, he said supposedly, like, he got drunk one night, and he just woke up during the middle of the night and came up with the idea that how he wanted to end it was, you know, for them to take some, you know, ideas from Shane and then from The Wrestler and, you know, just movies like that. Because sad this movie. was, his, yeah, <laughs> sad movies, because this was his last ride. Yeah. And, and I, mean, so I, I also want to point out, it is a very violent movie. Yeah. Um, it's not made for kids. Strong um, language. <laughs> um, strong language, uh, decapitation. Yeah. I mean, it's definitely not... The, Limbs being chopped off. <laughs> yeah, it's it's not like the uh, other X-Men where, I mean, you never saw him use his... Like, you never... When he hit, hit you know, attacked someone in the other movies, you never actually seen what happened. No. Uh, I mean, I don't think you ever did, actually, because they were all PG-13. You never see them going through anyone, like his claws that were going through a person. Or and like showing the blood yeah, on the claws. No, there was there was I never mean, anything so like yeah, that. So yeah, I mean it's not it's not kid friendly. I think they I mean they even had an article posting it reminding parents, kind of like they do with Deadpool. Yeah, it's not it's yep. not for kids. Don't take your kids if you don't want to see something violent like that. Um, but so overall, I think it was pretty good. Yeah. I mean you you think it was good, so yeah. Go ahead and give it a final scoring out of ten. And so what's your scoring? I mean if you want to talk about why you gave it that score, whatever you want. But what's yours? I thought it was an 8 out of 10, just because I thought, you know, with how they were going to end his character, at least in the cinematic universe, this was one of the best ways to do it. So I would say an 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10, alright. So I, I did have some problems with it. <clears throat> I mean, 
it was a good, I guess in this situation it was a good way to end his character. I felt like they could have done a lot more with it. Um, they could have, I mean, I don't want to say too much about spoiling it, but there's a lot of things I can't say right now that they could have done, I feel like, to make him better and a better way to end the movie or the franchise or him in general, I guess. So I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10, which, I mean, 7 out of 10 is not bad. I mean, no, I, yeah, it's definitely a movie. It's still above average. Yeah. I would recommend going yeah, to see it. Yeah, recommend going to see it. Um, but so I guess we're going to do a spoiler section. You're wanting to do one. Yeah. So we're going to represent this as spoiler time. So we'll have some Wolverine action in there. So we're going to start doing spoilers now. Is there anything in specific you want to talk about? Uh, well, this right here. <laughs> I wish I would have saw the suit. I really yeah. do. I mean, everyone Just said, for a brief second. I mean, everyone said that. I mean, I also agree it had been cool to see him in the suit. But in this one, it wouldn't have made sense. With the way they wanted the film to be and the realistic version. Yeah. This would have looked dumb. I will agree. I mean, could you see it, the realism they had in this movie but him running around... <laughs> no, yeah, no. I mean, this wouldn't have probably been the suit they would have used anyway. It's been the brighter yellow, probably bright yellow and black. I would say. Yeah, but like maybe like if he was in his room because he had like different memorabilia. If you remember yeah. in the opening, um, so what you want to do like the Deadpool where it should Deadpool showed his little figurine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, maybe just like Deadpool. it, just you know, like in the background or something. Like maybe yeah. he was reminiscing, maybe a flashback, something yeah, to mean, where like I can just see that. But like he pointed out in the movie, where he's talking about the comic books, because at one point, Laura he finds the comic book she has of X Men, and he starts talking to her about how this isn't how it happened. Like ninety percent of this is fake. I, I'd say that's what they were hinting towards, anyways. Was talking about the suit since everyone's so obsessed with it. Yeah. Was that he never had the suit? That that doesn't see it, that's that doesn't happen in real life. It's, you know, wearing a bright yellow suit while you're fighting crime. It's you know. This, yeah. So, but, I don't know, I, I think Pierce sucked. Um, yeah. Because, I mean, he was part of the Reavers, and they were all just humans with robotic limbs. Yeah. And, and, but yet, Logan couldn't beat him. Well, because as of you, his healing. well, you get, like, at the very start of the movie, you see that he doesn't really have a healing factor. He has no healing factor, except yeah. the start. Well, which, even with the start, you know, it showed him slowly push out the bullets that he was shot with. But it was just, yeah. It, yeah so, I mean, it starts out with he's a limo driver now. Yeah. To save up money, because uh, basically Xavier killed all the mutants. Um, he has Alzheimer's. So he has, like, psychic seizures that cause everyone to, I guess, have their own mini seizure almost. Yeah. So he killed almost every X Men or every student at the Xavier Institute. Um, so he's keeping him, like, sedated, or he can't use his powers, basically, and he's saving up money to buy a yacht. Yeah, pretty which, much, yeah, he's like a... I felt like that was a very weak point. Like, that's the whole goal, is to buy a yacht. Well, like, like what, what he, he was, was wanting, wanting to, to do, do I, I think, think, was... He was just trying to get away from... Civilization. And it was a very depressed state that he was in. I, I mean, honestly think like he was just it, thinking about just going off to the sunset. I mean, and, it makes sense, and it was. But with Xavier's powers, he could have reached anyone. I felt like if he needed, if it really came down to that. No. But I don't know. But yeah, so he has no healing factor basically at all in this movie, which is what kind of upset me about the movie. Is I felt like with his final send off, they could have gave him some more power or more, you know, made his powers look better. Because he doesn't have any powers, really, until the very end of the movie. That's because he takes some kind of special shit serum yeah. that, like, supercharges him. Which is what they give that X-24, which is, I guess, the boss battle in this movie. They have an X-24, yeah. which is basically the exact clone of him. Which is what they... He looks like Old Man Logan. Um, he's younger looking, but he's got the buzz cut, you know, and the... the yeah, he actually the, looks yeah, like Old Man Logan. Just a younger version. Yeah. And that's the main boss, him fighting that guy, which I felt so unfair because... You got Logan, who's beat up, suicidal. Yeah. <laughs> Can't even pull his claws out most of the time. Yep. He actually had to pull yeah. one of the claws out in the beginning of the movie. And fighting a younger, more powerful version of him. Yeah. And he got his ass kicked every time. Yeah. I mean, so if it wasn't for Laura, he would have probably died the la that last scene before. Well, he ends up dying. Let's just go ahead and ruin that. Yeah. He does die. Yeah, but, he does uh, die. He would have died sooner than that if it wasn't for Laura defending him with the X-24. Um, yeah. Is there anything else you want? Well, it was just like, I, I agree with the fact that his healing factor could have been better. 
because like in every fight it's almost like he fell backward because it was like at any moment mm -hmm. just even just someone coming up with an assault rifle would probably kill him and which i mean i guess that's part of it he doesn't care i mean because he, yeah, does he have, doesn't he care. carries the antimantium bullet around with him everywhere just in case he decides to just say screw it and go yeah. and kill himself which i mean i understand what they're doing there because the end of the movie i feel like was really the only part that got me that was upsetting i guess was he finally dies the uh X-24 does technically end up killing him, I guess. Yeah. But he throws him against, like, a, a piece of wood, and it goes shoved through his chest. Yeah. And Laura comes over there, the X-23, and she's all emotional. And, you know, she's crying, and, I mean, he's dying. Yeah. And uh, she calls him dad, which I felt was pretty, you know. Yeah. And, I mean, that was the whole point of it was, you know, he's never had anyone he really cared about. You know, he was always alone, even in the comics, for the most part. He's alone... You know. Well, I think what one of the stronger points of it was was in the end he became like that leadership role, like he with the um, new mutants. yeah with the new mutants. Is, it seemed like he stepped into that because yeah, I mean I could see he that. had to. I yeah. mean they were the last of the mutants, and so he had to step in that role, and I'm glad they did. I mean that was a. I mean, I would have definitely liked them to send him off a little bit better, but that does make sense they sent him off that way. <coughs> but, yeah, so, I mean, it ends pretty sad, and, I mean, and, I mean, like they said, they might be doing a continuation from this with the New Mutants. Yeah. Since you had a bunch of those kids in it, because you had, uh, what was it, Richter? Richter. I think that was um, the only one that was named. Yeah. Part and of them that you knew. I mean, there were several of them, because basically the New Mutants and her were all clones of previous either X-Men or other mutants, and they basically enhance from their powers. Yeah, like uh, Bobby Drake, there yeah, was someone had ice, that had Iceman's. Yeah. And there was one guy that had the electricity, which yeah. we found out was from the guy from uh, what was Origins. It, Origins. Yeah. Um, so they were basically all the older mutants, but enhanced and cloned into yeah. kids. And I, I did notice something interesting with the company that did that, because just kind of backpedaling a bit, um... There was another villain into it. It was, uh, what was the scientist's uh, name? I can't remember um, what his name was right now. Basically, he was the one that came up with the idea. That you're talking about the one that came up with the idea to clone yeah. him. Yeah. And the and, one that made X-24. And basically killed off the mutants. He started, you know, putting stuff into the food, water mm -hmm. stuff that they couldn't avoid, which obviously had to do, like, maybe a year before, you know, when no mutants were born for it to actually fully affect people. Yeah. And, I mean... One thing I'll point out, that's the reason that X-24 comes in here, because the guy, they all decide that the kids aren't working right, that yeah. they're too Wants emotional, to and they can't control their emotions. So he makes X-24, which I still never understood how he was able to control him. It never explains that. I don't think he really does, because well, he just said that it's just he's full of rage. It yeah, just looks but, like he was just full of rage. Yeah, but at one point when they're talking to that van, he does say that you're the only one that control him. So the only thing I can think of, it's like a dad, like a father figure. Yeah, I, but because it never looked like he was ever going to attack him, it just no, always looked but, like. I mean, I feel like like if you had Weapon X, and he saw his dad, he would still kill him. At that, and I feel like that's basically yeah. what Twenty Four was was like Weapon X with all the rage and none of the memories is all he's supposed to be. Yeah. So, and I, I thought that was kind of weird. They never at least explained somewhat of what the whole point of that was. Yeah. But I don't know. There, I mean. It was still a good movie. I just felt like there was some, there was a couple of things they could have yeah, like explained who, or went into, or like who uh, Richter was talking to on the other side of that radio, or yeah. just even what happened with Eden. <laughs> like they they cross the border into Canada, and it's like, is there Alpha Flight waiting for them? Yeah, Stuff yeah, like that. Going around, there, that could yeah, have been mentioned that could, they could have been going to Alpha Flight, which is a thing in the comics. Yeah, like a Canadian version of the X Men, basically. Yeah. And they've even mentioned the rumor that Jubilee was who they were talking to on the... Uh, well, any one of them, I feel like with the Reavers, they could easily <laughs> beat them because yeah. they just, they didn't really... But yeah, so the only time you see Wolverine be a badass is at the very end when he takes that serum. Because he's taking it, they give him to him to help him heal because he's not healing properly without his healing factor. Well, so he's, they, all, they all leave him at their little base and they go to cross the border. And he hears, you know, the Reavers coming, so he's chasing after him. When he's running out of breath, he came and yeah. run. Yeah, he came and run. So he's got a limp scene, the entire you know, movie. He's supposed to be yeah. an animal who, I yeah. mean, at one point can run on all fours if he has to, you know, when yeah. he's pissed off enough. 
and he's running out of breath like an old guy that's been smoking for 50 years. Yeah. So he ends up, he's only supposed to do a little bit of the serum, so he ends up shooting it all up at once and turns into, like, the actual Wolverine that you would think of. But then it eventually drains, and of course, that's one thing I thought was funny. Of course it drains as soon as X-24 gets involved. <laughs> yeah. Like, he couldn't have lasted that a little bit longer to fight him, which I felt like that would have been also a good, a cool thing they could have done ended is have him be in full Wolverine with the serum bursting that Wolverine. I feel like could have also been a cool thing they yeah, could have done. Yeah, that could have been awesome. But, I mean... Well, in this one, I mean, part of the reason why he was out of breath, part of that stuff was because the adamantium was yeah, slowly, slowly killing him. him. Yeah. Which, uh, I mean, uh, I was talking to a guy at work, and he said just part of the um, the effects of having, you know, lead poison or stuff like that is losing your eyesight, which you saw, and, yeah, you know, so lung, lung cancer, which is you saw from coughing up blood and stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it makes all, it makes sense. I just wish they would have done more. He yeah. could have been more of a badass at the end. Yeah. Um, but uh, is there anything else you really want to talk about in this? I mean, I think we did most of the spoiling. Yeah, yeah I think we did most of the spoiling. I, mean, I, mean, I guess the biggest spoiling is he does die. Yeah. Which I feel like a lot of people expected. I mean, it's Hugh Jackman's the last, supposed the last movie. So obviously, yeah. I mean, everyone was going into this thinking he was most likely going to die. Fingers crossed that uh, MCU actually seriously considers what he said because he said he would come back. If they could sum up somehow come up with a deal with Fox, which would be awesome. But I see Marvel being down for it, but I don't see Fox doing it. Yeah. I don't know. But I think that's going to be the end of the video, guys. I uh -huh. hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed having Avery into this. He might be in it some more. Who knows? Uh -huh. Hope you guys enjoy it. I'll see you guys later. See you guys.